came to pass whenever the ark went forward that Moses said, Arise, O Lord, let, let your enemies be scattered. And may those no, that hate you know, flee from before you. For from Zion shall go forth the Torah and the word of the Lord out of Jerusalem. Blessed be his name who in holiness gave the Torah to his people Israel. No, 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 Yerushalayim Baruch Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Hello Israel Yerushalayim of the Torah. is 
the covering. He is the covering. He's the, the Yom Kippur offering. The ransom for us, right? Everyone include among those who are numbered from 20 years old and above shall give an offering to the Lord. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shackle when you give <coughs> offering to the Lord to make a stoning go, go for souls. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less. It's repeated over and over again in different ways. Um, one place is when the leper is to be cleansed. It says to bring forth these animals, but if you can't afford to bring forth those animals, we'll bring forth these lesser costly animals. But the cleansing is exactly the same. The redemption is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing here. Mm -hmm. It's like a rich person could give much more than half a shekel. Rich in, in, in wealth right. Right. can give much more yep. than half a shekel. But no, it's, it's all the same. Give an offering for your soul is the cover is the covering. So it's the same same word that's being used. When they have come to Capernaum, those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said yes, and when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him, saying, What do you think since Simon? From whom do you, the king of the earth, from take customs or tax or taxes from their son, sons or from or from strangers? Earlier in this chapter <coughs> is the transfiguration. So it's when they hear Peter, those apostles that are there, hear the Lord say, "This is my son, in whom I am well pleased." They had just heard this, and from the time we don't know exactly the order of time, but that's how it is it's in Scripture. And then it says, Yeshua says. He said to him from, from strangers. Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. Never, nevertheless, least we can send them. Go to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And then you have opened his mouth. You will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them. For me and you. This isn't the portion of... Give that which is Caesar's to Caesar and give that which is God's. It's not. It's a few chapters later that does occur. So it's unclear if this truly is what we just what we read in this Torah portion, but in my spirit it seems like it is, because they're collecting this, this coin that will come out of the fish will pay for two. So one coin, if it's a half a shekel, and if it's a Greek coin, whatever they were using, because we know that when Yeshua was on this earth, he was fighting against the way the Torah had been twisted. That's what he did most of the whole time. He was uh -huh. speaking to those that were using the Torah for either their personal gain or to twist it to control people. So yeah. many teaching, it's what that's all about. So yeah. this, if this is what was happening, if they were collecting that, that specific half shekel, however they sort of twisted it, Yeshua said, let's just do it because we do not want to offend. We don't want to be a summon block. Is that what it means? Maybe. There's, there's so much here. I know there is, and I, I know I only see a little piece of it, but it seems such a blessing. And take that coin, and is that that atonement coin is the covering, that which you're giving for a covering for yourself. He's the covering. But yet he says to Peter, how humbling to get that coin and use it for me and you. This is Yeshua, the king, who says, take that one coin, it's mm -hmm. for me and you, and go ahead and give it to the one that's asking for it. Mm -hmm. When it said, um, the rich, uh, be rich or poor, you give the same offering. The next time that word rich, it's the first time that word rich is used in Hebrew, the next time it's used is when the Redeemer in Ruth, Boaz, says to Ruth, my daughter, Lord bless you, my daughter, for you did not seek a man who was wealthy or poor. It's, like, it's the same thing. He's the Redeemer speaking <coughs> to Ruth. So there's such an amazing connection to that. And notice in Scripture, rich and poor are all over the place. There's so much to it. And of course, there's the physical rich and poor, but there's the spiritual rich and poor. Mm. And the Lord, go ahead. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and the rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less. In him we have redemption, through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. And the 
riches of his glory and the riches of over and over again the Lord the scripture speaks of the riches of, of Messiah right. and then lastly the Lord kills and makes alive he brings down to the grave and brings up the Lord makes poor and makes rich he brings low and lifts up he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ash heap to set them among the princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. Amen. Thank you, Father. You are lifting us up and you are the restorer of all things. Yes. your name. Thank you so much. Of course, there's...